dolls and gents welcome back to my channel i know this has been a long awaited tour this is going to be my living room tour so we're going to dive right in and i'm going to go into details give you all the information where i purchased the items from and i'll also leave all the links down below if you're new to my channel thank you so much do not forget to subscribe and also leave a comment down below and also push the like button and also if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos make sure you hit the bell so let's get started so I have this beautiful accent chair here. I purchased it from Wayfair.com. You already know that is my go-to website when I'm purchasing any furniture online. So this beautiful chair here has this nail head and it's silver in color. It's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. The color of the accent chair is between a beige. It was listed as beige online, but once it came in, it looks like a very light yellow and a beige mix. It's really hard to tell the color to be honest with you but it did blend on with the rest of my furniture so I did not return them and I just have this throw here that I actually picked up from home goods and also this pillow I got from home goods as well I don't recall the price I think it's probably it was $14.99 if I'm not mistaken all right and in between the accent chair I have this beautiful mirrored furniture. This, I actually ordered it from Amazon.com. It's also available on Wayfair. I will try to find that link and also leave that below if you're interested. This beautiful diamond um, crystal, I got this from Home Goods as well. It was $12.99. And this right here, this picture frame actually came just like so. I did not even remove this. And this is also from HomeGoods.com. I don't remember the price. But you know that it's, it's affordable. So I have another one of the accent chair here. It's the same one as the one here. And I have the same throw pillow which I also picked up from Home Goods. Alright. And here is the beautiful sofa. Alright, so over here is this beautiful oversized mirror that I ordered from Wayfair. I did have this in my previous apartment. This is also, they have a similar one actually at Z Gallery and other places. I don't remember the dimensions, but if I recall, I think it's 72 inches or 74 inches high and about 40 inches or 42 inches wide. I will leave the links down below if you're interested in purchasing that. Alright, so right next to the mirror, the big size oversized mirror, I have this beautiful sofa which I also purchased from Wayfair. I love Wayfair. This is not an ad by any means necessary. I purchased all these items with my money. I just love their services and I think they're just awesome when it comes to buying big furniture or so big items online. So it has beautiful tuft in here. As you can see, it's gorgeous. I really, really love these details right here. And then on the side, these are nail head as well, but they're, I think, brown in color. And I love this feet. The feet is also brown and espresso. So the only thing that did not come assembled was the feet. So all I did was just screw that in. Other than that, everything came as you're looking at it. Okay? So inside of the, of the couch, obviously, I needed some throw pillows. All of these throw pillows I purchased from Home Goods each and every single one of them I don't remember the exact prices but you all should be familiar with home goods it's pretty much affordable probably from $19.99 to $14.99 or $16.99 or so and that's pretty much all I have in this couch I absolutely love this throw look at this gorgeous detail and I love the fact that you can actually unzip it and take it off in any event that you need to wash it. So that's one of the things I look out for when I'm purchasing throw pillows. I always make sure they have a zipper so that I can take it off and wash it. If not, once it gets dirty, you have to replace them. Obviously, that's expensive. You don't want to go through that. Okay? All right, so on the side of the sofa the other end of the sofa so one end I have the oversized mirror and on this end here I basically purchased this um, nesting table this mirrored nesting table I actually got it from Lamps Plus I will leave the links down below I know that I did see them on Amazon as well as Wayfair but the dimensions that I saw for the two sites were not the same this one was better or bigger um, however I'll put all the links down below if you're interested in purchasing any of them and so it came as a set of two, already came assembled. The delivery was exceptional. I love Lamps Plus as well. And also on top of it, I just have these two decorative boxes, which I also picked up from Home Goods. 
not long ago. Um, I believe the top one was $12.99 and the bottom was $19.99 or so. And right above or on top of the um, boxes, I also picked up this acrylic, I guess a gift box, that's what it looks like. And this acrylic pineapple I crystal, pineapple and crystal gift box, I got that from Home Goods as well. And right here is this beautiful lamp that I also, um, this is a floor lamp, so it goes all the way down. I don't know the dimension, but probably about 60 plus inches high. So it's not sitting on top of the table. It looks like it's sitting on top of the table because it's covered this thin, this box is not covering it, but it's actually, you know, standing behind the tables. I got this also from Home Goods, and I believe the price is 100, was $129, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so this beautiful coffee table or center table, I actually picked it up from Home Goods. Believe it or not, I went to Home Goods one day. I was not looking for it because I already had one, but then I saw this. I was like, oh my god, because I've seen the same one on Wayfair, and it was about seven hundred dollars, and this right here was one hundred and ninety-nine. So it was only two hundred dollars at Home Goods, and it had a tag on there. I forgot it was from Sunbeam, if I'm not mistaken whoever made it and I googled it and guess what it was over sixteen hundred dollars online so I knew it was a steal the moment I saw it and immediately I purchased it and I took out the other one so this comes with two layers the bottom one you see like the marble but this is just a contact paper the reason why I put that on there is because the bottom glass is black and I just didn't like the color I wish it was clear but it wasn't so I bought I purchased one of these contact these marble contact papers from amazon.com and I went ahead and put that on there so for me it looks a bit better but I purchased this from home goods and I thought it was a pretty good deal all right so on top I have a few other decorative items here these coffee table books I got each and every one of them from home goods this is Lauren Conrad you guys already know I have this by I think this is Princess Diana and also I have a Chanel book right here so all three of these co coffee table books I purchased from Home Goods, and then this decorative item here I also got from Home Goods. Okay, and then the other side of the coffee table I have this tray here, which I love so much. I purchased the tray from Home Goods as well, and I have a few other crystal um, decor items on there. This right here is from Home Goods. The price is twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So currently it's empty. I just picked this up recently and I have this um this right here as well, also from Home Goods. I have this perfume um bottle also from Home Goods. And I think I got this on sale for like eleven dollars or so. I have another one of these crystal bowls and I just have some chocolate in there. So help yourself if you want one. Okay, and right here I actually this I love. This right here is from Home Goods. You guys know this is actually from the bathroom section. So normally people put this in their bathroom and put their toothbrushes and so on there. When I saw it, I said, you know what? I love, love, love this. However, I'm going to use it as a remote holder. And that's exactly what I'm using it for. So this is just for my TV. This is for the cable. This is for the TV. TV. And I have this right here for the fireplace. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful just sitting in the tray right here. So this is just a little tip for you all if you're interested. Okay, and at the very bottom, I just have a few more decorative items. So this crystal bowl here, I picked it up from Home Goods. I think sometime either early this year or sometime last year. And I just have a few of these ornaments in there from Christmas that I'm not using. I just have it sitting in there. For now, I forgot the price of this particular bowl. And then I have a few other decorative items. This right here is just a mirror tray. Also, I got that from Home Goods. I have these candles here from Home Goods. It smells so good. Occasionally, I light them up to make the room smell good. And also, this flower here I got from Home Goods. And I just have my, I, what do you call this? A tablet sitting right here. The reason why I have this tablet here is because my TV does not come with a YouTube. Normally, YouTube comes, you know, with these smart TVs, but it didn't. But it does have Chromecast built in. So I use a tablet most of the time when I'm watching YouTube videos so that it just, um, it casts straight to the TV. So I just usually leave it right here. So I forgot to mention this beautiful 
frog here is absolutely beautiful and plush I actually got this from home goods of course and I got this on sale believe it or not this is one of the largest size they have and this was on sale for $199 the original price was $299 but it was on sale for some reason and I was so happy to get it at that time beautiful 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 it's so comfortable so plush and I enjoy it so much and I think it looks so great in the living room and it ties everything together so we're gonna move on over to the TV station the TV area okay so this is just a 65 inch TV and I also have a wall mounted electric fireplace underneath it so let me give you all a little tip and a little advice so I purchased this fireplace on Wayfair.com. However, please keep in mind when you're purchasing a fireplace, especially if you're mounting it under your TV, you have to read the specification. Some fireplaces, you cannot mount a TV above it. Some fireplaces require you to have a certain amount of clearance, like 12 inches or 12 feet, actually, um, between the TV and the fireplace, which obviously, if I needed 12 feet for this, then this TV will be all the way up there. This particular fireplace did not require that clearance simply because the heat comes from the bottom. A lot of electric or wall mounted fireplace, the heat comes from the top. That's why the clearance from the TV has to be so huge. So make sure you read it, the requirements or the specification. Just don't buy it because it's a good deal or whatever. You have to read it. If not, obviously you don't want um, an electric um, with a fire to start because of your fireplace is on this produces heat but it comes from the bottom here you see the vents right here this is where all the heat comes from but I don't use the heat anyways once in a while I may do but normally I don't that's why the TV was mounted so close to it because it does not it's no risk um, and it's okay to mount the TV directly above it like so so this fireplace comes with a remote this remote allows you to change colors. Right now it's set automatically. You can change all, it changes the colors automatically as you can see. These crystal stuff here came with a fireplace. So it came with a log, which is that big, you know, you guys know what a log is. It came with a log and also came with these um, crystal stuff and a bag. So I replaced the log. It was easy to take out and replace it. So as you can see the, um, the fire changes colors. So this is a remote that allows you to set the timer on it. You can set it for an hour, two hours, whatever it is. You can set the heat. Like I said, I personally do not use it for the heat. Most of the time, I only use it just for the ambiance. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. So underneath it, I have this um, beautiful TV stand. This white high gloss TV stand. I also picked it up from Wayfair.com. This was not assembled, but... Yeah, assembling it was it was a bit of a um a task. I should say it was not that easy. So, but we got it done. And then I replaced all of the knobs. As you can see, these crystal knobs did not come with it. These I got from Home Goods, and I went ahead and replaced it. The knobs that came with it were not crystal, so I thought that um, replacing it was actually a good idea. And I love 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 the way it looks. I will leave details down below. And the glass is very sturdy. And right here, I have these two candle holders, which I already hauled. I picked it up from Burlington Co. Factory. Right, un right behind it is where the router is. So I just put it right here so that it can kind of block it. And then I have my cable box here. This is not the cable box. This is the modem. And then this is the cable box here. Okay. And then this space here, I just went ahead and put three of these mirrored boxes I also pick all of these up from home goods and on the other side I have two more of the candle holders which I also picked up from home goods right and this vase here I had it on my old apartment this I got from Burlington some time back and these full flowers I picked it up from home goods as well it's been at least over a year since I had it so I really hope you all enjoyed my video. Please make sure you thumbs up. Do not forget to like, subscribe, share this video. Also follow me on my Instagram. And until my next video, have a blessed day.